Hey, how are you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I want to talk about the Coinbase dashboard versus the purchase price discre discrepancies. So there's a big problem when it comes down to Coinbase. I have noticed this, like every time I, I, I try to buy some, some Bitcoin using Coinbase, I have noticed that there's a big discrepancies between the price that is on the dashboard versus the price that the the purchase price of the bitcoin so as you guys can see right now wow and bitcoin just went down a lot so so as you guys can see right let me wait for this to focus okay as you guys can see Bitcoin right now is at 11,244. Okay, so according to Coinbase, that's the price. How can I make, how can I? So 11,247 right so that's the price of bitcoin right so look what happens when i go over here and i try to buy so So it said 11,247, right? But when you're going to buy, the price is 11,304. So that's the price of Bitcoin when you're trying to buy. So that's like what? That's like from 11,247 that it's saying that that's the that that's the price in the dashboard right eleven thousand two hundred and fifty four that's a fifty dollars difference so you you might think you're paying eleven thousand two hundred and fifty but then when you go to buy it's eleven thousand three hundred so that's fifty dollars and that's before the fees so after that you have to pay depending you have to pay a one point something percentage on top of that so the point of this video is just for you guys to be careful when you are trying to buy your bitcoin ethereum or litecoin using coinbase don't just think because right here it says that the price is 254 that that's the actual price that you're going to pay for for the Bitcoin because then when you go to buy it's going to reflect a different price so what I've been trying to do is I always refresh the page I refresh it like a few times and sometimes it might go up sometimes it might go down so just refresh the page and pay a price that you feel is worth it but to be honest it's really misleading right because it's saying right here 200 200 and, and let's try again and I'm gonna show you another thing that is wrong with Coinbase look it says 11,260 right so that's the price when I was trying to buy it said 11,200 and uh, 11,300 but when I try to sell when I try to sell <laughs> Funny enough, now the price of Bitcoin went from from eleven thousand two hundred and sixty to eleven thousand two hundred and twelve. So you got you guys can see that eleven hundred eleven thousand. 
212. So we're, when you're selling Bitcoin, the price is way lower than what the actual price is on the dashboard. Because right now you're, you're selling your, your Bitcoin $50 lower than what the price on the dashboard. But when you're buying, you're buying $50 higher. So what is going on? Is Coinbase, like I don't understand, why do they have a fee if when you buy, you have to pay more than the dashboard price and then you can do it in one second. Change it to selling and when you're selling, you're selling that for $50 less. So just be careful with that guys, just close, pay, pay, uh, close, uh, pay attention to when you're buying Bitcoin. Don't follow this um, because sometimes you might see this and you might say, oh, but look, um, Bitcoin went down $50. Let me buy now. But then it's actually $50 more than the actual price. And then you think, oh, Bitcoin went up. And when you're trying to sell, you're actually selling at, at a lower price. So just keep that in mind before you buy or sell bitcoin or any cryptocurrency when you are using coinbase i don't know why um why coinbase is doing that and to be honest i don't know what a, a solution is to it so you just have to you just have to wait and when you're trying to buy just refresh the page until you see a price that you're willing to pay that price because that the dashboard price you can you cannot follow that there's like a $50 discrepancy. When it comes down to selling, it's $50 less. And when it comes down to buying, it's $50 more. So that's the video for today, guys. If you want more videos like this one, informative videos related to cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, how to use Coinbase, how to start investing in cryptocurrency, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm a beginner just like you guys, so join me in this journey and let's try to um, make some profits from, from, from investing in cryptocurrency. I'm not a financial advisor, so please guys don't take uh, any of my advice too hard. I'm just sharing my knowledge, sharing my experiences. You guys can learn from my mistakes and not make them. And hopefully today you you were able to learn something new and if it happens to you now because you watch this video you know what is going on so if you enjoy this video and you learn something from this video make sure you leave a like please subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions please leave them in the comment section below I'll see you guys on the next video